This is the third video in our five-part series, Remark Test Grading Edition 2 Designer. In this video, we demonstrate how to add and customize multiple choice questions. Since this is the first of the three question types available in the designer, we will also be explaining general features that apply to all three types of questions. Whenever you add a new section of questions, click on the drop-down caret that corresponds to the type of question that you want to add, and click on the Here button or click on the New button. We'll do this for our multiple choice section right now. In the window that's brought up, you need to set the properties of your section. You have the option of adding a title. For the number of questions, you can add up to 360 multiple choice questions. Let's just type in 5 for now. The number of choices is where you indicate the number of answer choices for each question in the section. Let's just type in 4 for now. The choices box is where you manually type in each of the answer choices for your question, but you can save yourself some time by choosing from preset choices. For example, if I want my answer set to have the answers A, B, C, and D, I can start typing A, and the Remark software automatically brings up the scheme A to D. If I select this, it will automatically bring up the rest of the answers. With multiple choice questions, you also have the option to alternate choices between odd and even questions. Click on Add to add the new multiple choice section. Now notice the pencil icon that appears next to the section I just created. You can edit an existing section at any time by clicking on this pencil icon, making your changes, and then clicking on Update. Now we have five questions with four answer choices each. If we wanted to add 10 more true or false multiple choice questions, we would have to create a new separate section for these 10 questions because they have a different number of answer choices and different labels, true and false. Click on New. The number of choices will be 2 for true and false. Notice as I type in T for true, the software brings up true or false as a preset option. Click on Add. In the template preview, you'll see the 10 new questions. A few other settings that you might want to be aware of for multiple choice questions are found in the answer sheet settings. Here you can adjust multiple choice section layout and scaling. Notice that the test preview will change when I apply these changes. As you can see, our 10 true or false questions were shifted over to the left. Now I'm going to go over some general operations that apply to math and subjective questions as well as multiple choice questions. I'm going to use section 2 to explain these properties. The restart question numbering option starts the selected section back at 1 instead of picking up where the prior section left off. For example, our geography section has 5 questions. Instead of picking up at number 6, Section 2 would start back at 1 if I had the Restart Question Numbering box selected. The Insert Line Break option adds a line immediately before the selected section. Page Break puts this section on a new page. Be aware that these three properties do not apply to the first section on your test. Click on Update. As you can see, our question numbering started back at 1 for Section 2 and the section 2 was also put on a new page with a line just before it. To delete questions, click on the trash can icon next to the section that you want to delete. Then click on delete. If you wanted to re-add recently created questions, you can click on the recent drop down menu and click on the question style that you desire to replicate. And then click on add. In this video, we explained how to add and customize multiple choice type questions in the Answer Sheet Designer in Remark Test Grading Edition 2. We also demonstrated general operations that can be performed on math type and subjective questions as well as multiple choice questions. Please see the other videos in this series, Remark Test Grading Edition 2 Designer, to learn how to add a header and footer and add math and subjective type questions.